God's message for you today. My dear child, listen closely to that still, small voice resonating in your heart. This is not mere echoes of human longing, but the very prophecies of your future, testified by the Spirit of Christ. My voice down on the inside making known my hope, and my power working to bring about that which constitutes your destiny and purpose in my kingdom. The ache you feel, the yearning for something more, is a divine spark ignited within you. It is the blueprint of your destiny, a map leading you to the abundant life I have planned for you. Say it within yourself, child. The ache is the prophecy, I have placed this yearning within you not to torment you, but to awaken you to the possibilities that lie ahead. These desires are not frivolous or fleeting. They are the whispers of my spirit, the very essence of my purpose for you. I do not engage in empty games, child, dangling carrots, or hidden obscure or unattainable promises when I plant a seed within your heart. It is a testament to my unwavering commitment to see it flourish. As you align yourself with my word and my will, watch as that seed blossoms into the magnificent reality you have been yearning for. Do not be swayed by the distractions of the enemy or outward turbulence taking your mind off of me, child. Focus your gaze forward leaving behind the things that have held you back. Don't allow the fleshly nature to bind you to false requirements or demands of a legalistic religious perspective. Recognize that in life, there are loose ends and open-ended pursuits where the outcomes and next steps aren't always comfortable or clear. Embrace the unknown for clinging to the familiar will only impede your progress. Remember, a perfectly ordered life is not a prerequisite for my blessings in the unfamiliarity. The willingness to step into the unknown, I reveal the full extent of my plans for you. Cast aside your earthly logic, child. Your insistence that everything must be neat and tidy. My ways are not bound by human limitations, shortcomings, or misconceptions. I am the God who paints the sky with vibrant hues and sculpts the mountains with a touch of chaos. If you believe on my presence, then type Amen in the comments. My child, as you surrender to my unconventional ways, you will unlock the door to a future beyond your wildest imagination. So. Trust the ache in your heart, child. It is not a burden, but a compass guiding you towards your destiny. Embrace the unfamiliarity, the loose ends, and the illogical twists and turns. Amid it all, you will find me, your loving father, leading you every step of the way. My beloved child, the storm you are in doesn't predict what happens next. Your position of rest in me makes that determination of your outcome and breakthrough in the situation you are desperately trying to get through. I am your father, the eternal and ever-present source of peace and rest. Today I bring you to the heart of the storm, where the clash of opposing forces is most intense, for that is where I operate and where I teach you the profound truth. That rest is not found in the absence of conflict, but in the depths of your unwavering faith in me. My beloved, remember when your brothers, the disciples, were desperately rowing against the relentless winds and waves, facing the imminent threat of annihilation, yet amidst the chaos, I remained undisturbed asleep in the bow of the boat. This was not a sign of indifference or neglect. It was a testament to my unwavering presence and ability to master by my word of power. Even the most tumultuous waters 
Similarly, my child, in the storms of your own lives, I am ever present, a steady anchor amidst the raging seas, when you feel overwhelmed, exhausted, and on the brink of despair, do not succumb to fear or self-doubt. Instead, turn your eyes to me, the original first responder, who is always ready to rescue you from the depths of despair. Put down the oars of self-reliance and surrender to my guidance. Let go of the need to control every situation and trust in my infinite wisdom and power. Come to me as a child, seeking refuge in the arms of a loving parent. Amid the turmoil, cease the blame game and the endless cycle of accusation and self-recrimination. Instead, seek solace in my presence where there is no judgment, only unconditional love and understanding. Come, my precious children. Enter the sanctuary of rest in my embrace. Allow my love to wash over you, calming your fears and soothing your troubled soul. My beloved soul, in this sacred space, I will impart to you the key to unlocking true peace and wavering unconditional trust in me. When you are fully surrendered to my will, I will unleash the miracle of tranquility upon your life. The raging storms will dissipate, replaced by a serene calm, and in that newfound serenity, you will discover a profound truth. I am the source of your strength, your resilience, and your unwavering faith. So, my dear children, do not fear the storms of life. Embrace them as opportunities to deepen your trust in me and experience the transformative power of my love, for in the depths of surrender, you will find the unshakable peace that surpasses all understanding. I want to share a profound truth with you, a truth that has the power to transform your life and illuminate your path. In the Gospel of Matthew, I spoke about the essence of goodness, saying a good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Goodness is a noble quality, and it often manifests in our lives through acts of kindness, love, and righteousness. It is the foundation upon which a meaningful and purposeful life is built. Many find comfort in the realm of the good, it's a zone where things are familiar, safe, and predictable. The good might be a steady job, a stable routine, or relationships that, while not extraordinary, provide a sense of security. And there's nothing inherently wrong with that. In fact, the good is a blessing, a manifestation of the divine order in your life. Yet, there comes a moment when the divine whispers in the recesses of your heart, inviting you to explore the realm of the great. It's a call to transcend the boundaries of the familiar, to step into the unknown with faith as your guide. In the Gospel of Mark, I emphasize the importance of faith, saying, everything is possible for one who believes. In the Gospel of Matthew, I shared the parable of the talents. A master entrusted his servants with different amounts of talents a form of currency, and those who invested and multiplied their talents were praised, while the one who buried his talent was rebuked. This parable speaks to the potential within each of you and the responsibility to invest that potential for greater purposes. The transition from the good to the great often involves change, and change can be unsettling. In the Gospel of John, I reassured my disciples, saying, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Embrace the unknown, with a heart anchored in divine peace. 
Life is akin to a vast ocean, and your journey is marked by the ebb and flow of waves. The good might be like sailing in calm waters, while the great could be navigating through challenging waves. In the Gospel of Matthew, I walked on water to reach my disciples amidst a storm, demonstrating that even in tumultuous times, the Divine Presence can bring peace. As you contemplate the transition from the good to the great, seek Divine Guidance in the Gospel of Luke, I assured my disciples, saying, And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. The Holy Spirit is your guide, providing wisdom and comfort as you navigate the uncharted waters of greatness. Each of you has a unique calling, a purpose that resonates with the song of your soul. In the Gospel of Matthew, I proclaimed, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. The rest I speak of is not mere relaxation, but the deep contentment that comes from aligning with your divine purpose. Settling for the good when your soul yearns for the great can lead to a sense of restlessness and unfulfillment. In the Gospel of Luke, I warned against lukewarmness, saying, I know your deeds, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either one or the other. Embrace the fire of divine passion and let it propel you toward greatness. In the Gospel of Mark, there's an account of a rich young ruler who approached me, asking what he must do to inherit eternal life. He had observed the commandments, but was attached to his wealth. When I advised him to sell his possessions and follow me, he went away sad. This story illustrates the challenge of letting go of the good to embrace the great. Love is the bridge that connects the good to the great. In the Gospel of John, I emphasized the transformative power of love, saying, A new command I give you, love one another, as I have loved you. So you must love one another. Love is the force that propels you beyond the boundaries of the good and into the expansive realm of greatness. Limiting beliefs are like chains that bind you to the status quo. In the Gospel of Matthew, I declared with man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Break free from the shackles of self-doubt and limited thinking. Trust in the infinite possibilities that unfold when you align your will with the divine. Faith without action is like a body without breath. It lacks the vitality to bring about change. In the Gospel of James, it is written, What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have faith but has no deeds, can such faith save them? Let faith be the wind beneath the sails of your actions as you journey from the good to the great. Let us unite in a prayer as you embark on the journey. From the good to the great, dear Heavenly Father, in the quiet chambers of our hearts, we stand at the crossroads between the good and the great as we contemplate the call to greatness. We seek your divine guidance and courage. Grant us the wisdom to discern the whispers of our souls, calling us to transcend the familiar and embrace the extraordinary. Help us overcome the fear of change and step into the unknown with faith as our compass. We acknowledge that the journey to greatness may involve challenges and uncertainties, but we trust that your divine presence will be our steadfast companion. Open our hearts to the unique calling you have placed within us and grant us the strength to follow the path that leads to our true purpose as we navigate the waves of life.
May the storms become opportunities for us to walk on water, anchored in the unwavering faith that with you all things are possible. Break the chains of limiting beliefs that bind us to mediocrity, and instill in us the courage to give up the good to go for the great. Let love be our guiding force, transcending the boundaries of the familiar and expanding our hearts to embrace the greatness that lies within. In moments of uncertainty, may the Holy Spirit be a advocate, offering comfort, wisdom, and divine guidance. May our faith be a dynamic force, expressed through intentional actions that propel us toward greatness. As we embark on this transformative journey, May the words of my teachings echo in our hearts. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. Amen. My cherished child, may the journey from the good to the great be an adventure that unfolds with divine grace and purpose as you heed the call to greatness. May you discover the boundless potential that resides within you. Don't be afraid, for the divine light that guides your path is brighter than any fear that may dim its radiance. My beloved child, I speak to you today not only as a guide, but as a companion on your journey. A journey to the heart, a journey to awaken compassion in a world that sometimes seems divided and torn. In these moments, I invite you to explore the depths of your heart and discover the wellspring of compassion that unites, heals, and transforms. Compassion is the language of the heart, a universal force that transcends boundaries and speaks to the shared humanity that binds you all. In the Gospel of Matthew, I spoke about the essence of compassion, saying, Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. It is in the giving of compassion that you receive its profound blessings. In the Gospel of Luke, I shared the parable of the Good Samaritan, a story of compassion in action. A Samaritan, despised by many, stopped to help a wounded stranger, demonstrating that compassion knows no divisions. It is a call to each of you, regardless of backgrounds or beliefs, to be good Samaritans in your daily lives. The world you live in can sometimes feel divided by differences in opinions, beliefs, and backgrounds. But in the Gospel of John, I prayed for unity, saying, I pray that they may be one as we are one. Unity is born from the recognition of the divine spark in every being, transcending divisions, and fostering a compassionate connection. Compassion and forgiveness are intertwined, for in forgiving, you release the burdens that weigh down your hearts. In the Gospel of Matthew, I emphasize the importance of forgiveness, saying, for if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Let compassion be the guiding force that leads you to forgive and be forgiven. True compassion begins within your own hearts. In the Gospel of Luke, I spoke about love for oneself, saying, Love your neighbor as yourself to extend compassion to others. You must first embrace it within. Be gentle with yourselves, recognizing your own vulnerabilities and imperfections. In a fast-paced world, the gift of presence is a powerful form of compassion. In the Gospel of Matthew, I assured, surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Practice the art of being fully present with others listening with your hearts and offering the precious gift of your time and attention. Compassion is not merely a sentiment but a call to action. In the Gospel of Matthew, I spoke about feeding the hungry 
clothing the naked, and caring for the sick, declaring, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine you did for me, let your compassion manifest in tangible acts of kindness and service. Compassion breaks down the walls that separate hearts. In the Gospel of Mark, I encountered a woman who, despite cultural barriers, sought healing. Her faith moved me, and I proclaim, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. May your compassion break down the barriers that keep you from truly seeing and connecting with one another. Compassion is a healing balm for wounded souls. In the Gospel of Luke, I healed a woman on the Sabbath, illustrating that acts of compassion are never bound by rules or restrictions. Let your compassion be a source of healing for those around you, mending the wounds of loneliness, sorrow, and despair. In a world where strangers often become adversaries, I encourage you to extend compassion to those outside your familiar circles. In the Gospel of Matthew, I spoke about welcoming the stranger, saying, For I was a stranger, and you invited me in. In every stranger, see the potential for a shared humanity and a connection waiting to be discovered. In times of adversity, compassion becomes a guiding light. In the Gospel of John, I comforted my disciples, saying, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Let compassion be your anchor in stormy seas, bringing peace to troubled hearts. The journey to the heart is also a path of spiritual growth. In the Gospel of Matthew, I urged my disciples to be perfect as the Heavenly Father is perfect. This perfection is not a flawless exterior, but a heart steeped in compassion, a heart that mirrors the divine love that knows no bounds. One of the most poignant parables I shared was the story of the prodigal son, a tale of compassion and forgiveness. The father's embrace of his wayward son mirrors the boundless compassion of the divine. May this parable inspire you to extend compassion even when it seems undeserved. Extend your compassion to all living beings. For in the Gospel of Matthew, I spoke about God's care for the sparrows, saying, Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground outside your Father's care. Recognize the interconnectedness of all life and let your compassion extend to every creature in the rhythm of your daily lives. Let compassion be a constant practice. In the Gospel of Luke, I spoke about the Good Samaritan's compassion in the context of everyday encounters. Be mindful of opportunities for compassion in your daily interactions and let it become a natural expression of who you are. Let us join in a prayer, seeking divine guidance and awakening compassion in our hearts. Dear Divine Presence, in the quiet spaces of our hearts, we turn to you, seeking the grace to awaken compassion within. Help us, dear Lord, to see the world through the eyes of your boundless love recognizing the shared humanity that unites us all. Grant us the wisdom to extend compassion to those we encounter, whether they be family, friends, or strangers in moments of division. Let compassion be the bridge that connects hearts and heals wounds. May our compassion be a source of comfort and healing for those who are suffering in times of adversity. Grant us the strength to be beacons of compassion, bringing peace to troubled hearts. Help us break down the walls that separate us from one another, that we may embrace the beauty 
diversity and celebrate the shared journey of life. Guide us to be vessels of your love, radiating compassion to all living beings as we navigate the challenges of our world. May our compassion be a force for positive change, inspiring acts of kindness, justice, and mercy. In our daily interactions, may we practice compassion as a sacred art, reflecting the divine light that dwells within. In moments of self-reflection, Reveal to us any barriers that may hinder the flow of compassion from our hearts. Grant us the grace to forgive, to let go of judgments, and to extend compassion even when it seems challenging. In the quiet moments of our lives, may we hear the soft whispers of your guidance, prompting us to be instruments of compassion in a world that thirsts for your love. Amen. My cherished children, may your journey to the heart be a pilgrimage of compassion, a journey where every step is illuminated by the divine light of love. As you awaken compassion within, may it radiate from your hearts, creating ripples of healing and unity in a world that longs for the gentle touch of understanding and empathy. Amen.